Okay, good evening everybody. Thank you for joining us for our virtual subject evening. My name is Amy Smith and I'm the Marketing Manager for Lowestoft Sixth Form College. This evening we are going to be covering our courses in Performing Arts, Music, Digital Media and Sport. There's a question and answer box on your screen. It should be along the bottom. As we're going through the presentation, if you've got any questions at all, please feel free to pop them in the box. And when we've finished at the end, we will answer all of your questions. And of course, there'll be, there'll be some time at the end for you to write some questions in there as well. So if anything springs to mind as we go through, please feel free to pop them in there. Um, I'm now gonna hand over to um, one of our tutors, Katie Beals, who's going to start this evening and introduce you to our performing arts course. So let me hand over to Katie. Hi everyone, I'm Katie and I'm the teacher of performing arts. Um, our new course is a CTEC, which is essentially the same as a BTEC, um, in that it's sort of worth the same, it'll get you into uni, etc. Um, the difference is instead of it being Edexcel, it's Cambridge Technical, um, which is OCR. So it's just different exam board. And when switching courses, we thought it was sort of the best way to go. Um, the course can be studied as a single award, a double, or a triple. What that means is a single is equivalent to one A-level, a double is two, and a triple is three. We do recommend that you perhaps go for the double or the triple to get the most out of the course, but it would obviously depend what you want to combine with. Um, on the single, there is a theory unit called Proposal for a Commissioning Brief, where you get to learn sort of all the industry and the sort of background about how to run a show. It's really quite interesting. On the double, you do drama three lessons a week and dance improv one lesson a week. Um, in the drama, you'll study two plays. One is called Accidental Death of an Anarchist and one is called The Crucible by Arthur Miller. And then at the end of the, the year, you'll um, perform a full length play as well. And all of that will sort of be portfolio based evidence going towards your final grade. On the triple, so if you choose to do full performing arts, you'll also do two hours a week of singing technique with our music teacher and extra jazz lessons and extra contemporary lessons with other performing arts teachers as well. Um, we, on shows and other things that we do, we do collaborate with the music department quite a lot in terms of um, the students and the, the actual units that we do. There's some that go across both. Um, so depending on which avenue you wanted to go down would depend on whether you want to do more music or more performing arts. Um, you're mainly assessed at the end of year one and then at the end of year two through portfolio evidence um, and it runs throughout the year apart from certain external assessment points that we would talk you through. Um, it's a great course, we do lots of extracurricular stuff, so we do a trip to the West End, obviously we're not this year but next year that will all pick up. Um, we do lots of performance work, we do performing a um, performance workshop on a Wednesday afternoon which is extra extra ballet, extra musical theatre, which isn't part of your course, but it's just stuff that you can do. Um, we also do a showcase, which is, um, it's a show that you can audition for, um, rather than sort of your shows that you're in for your assessment grades. Um, and that's kind of the course on the whole. We study jazz technique, contemporary technique, and different practitioners within them. Um, so that's the course on the whole for performing arts. And what we're going to do now is pass you over to Guy, who will explain the course from a music point of view um, and the more um, the musical aspects of it, because there's some bits that cross over and some bits don't. Over Thanks. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. So music, there is crossover with the performing arts. We're on the CTEC course. Um, so there are similarities and we do um, work together on a lot of stuff. Um, it's a two year course. And again, it can be taken as a single, a double, or a triple. Um, we cover a wide range of work from performance skills, um, studio work. We've got a state-of-the-art studio, purpose-built studio in the um, in the college with soundproof rooms. Um, you'll work on composition work or songwriting. Um, we've got sequencing software in all of our um, music classrooms. And the culmination of what you'll do over the two years on music is create an album of work, putting all those skills together. Um, and you work in teams to do that. Um, we also cover a fundamental base of knowledge of music theory, as well as knowledge and skills in terms of working within the industry. Um, the emphasis is very much on 
the creative aspect here. So we have over a dozen um, live shows, just student gigs, not to mention the performing arts shows or the joint shows that we do. We have at least six nights of student gigs throughout the year that are always brilliantly attended. Um, and the talent is incredible every time. So they're really great nights and they're a really good, if you've never performed before, they can be a really great confidence booster. Um, you'll also have as much access to the recording studio or the instruments or the rehearsal rooms um, as you'll need. And there's opportunities for combined projects, as I said before, with performing arts. Um, there's a lot of closely close working with performing arts. Um, there's also opportunities to work with um, companies outside of the college. So we've done projects before and will do in the future with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, um, with the Broads Authority, um, looking into the First Light Festival as well. So by the end of the course, not only will you have gained skills and knowledge, you'll build up a body of work, of your own work, um, and you'll gain real life industry experience through working on these kind of projects. So I'm going to hand over now to Richard. Thank you, Guy. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Richard Harrison, and uh, I teach on the digital media course here at Lowestoft Sixth Form College. Um, it is a CTEC course, which means that it's got a heavy practical base to it. And the key thing about it is that um, we deal a lot with sound because it's an area that is um, very good for students. The industry itself uh, needs people that work in sound. So we do some specialist units on radio and also looking at sound within films. We also cover things like audiovisual artifacts. So anything from film trailers to music videos, and in year one, students get to investigate the theory behind them and then produce their own. And uh, you'll use editing software, um, Adobe Premiere Pro editing software. We teach you how to use that. And uh, the idea is that you build up a, a kind of portfolio of work. You build up practical pieces over the course. And over the two years, you will emerge with the theoretical knowledge, but also the practical skills and that's kind of honed over the two years and you'll have several practical pieces. So the students at the moment are making television advertisements and they're really very, very good indeed so far. So uh, we'll, we'll hope that standard continues. There is an exam. Uh, I should point out that um, the exam is, uh, we're doing it next uh, January and uh, that's something that we prepare you very well for all of the BTEX or CTEX now have an exam, so it's very hard to avoid, but uh, there are some really useful things in there. Uh, we have various uh, events and guest speakers throughout the year, and we've linked up this year with the British Film Institute, uh, who ran a, a sort of programme that um, one of our students participated in. And uh, we've also got some um, uh, online material that, that's having to be done online this year because of the virus, but uh, next year uh, everything will change. And we're really looking at getting you into the industry itself, whether it be uh, involved in um, radio or in television or in film. And uh, we're primarily visual media and uh, audio rather than newspapers and magazines, but we touch on those as well. So that's the, the, the course in a nutshell. If you've got questions, I'll happily answer them at the end. And uh, let's pass you over now to Adam, who's going to talk to you a, a little bit more about the sport course at the college. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Richard. So just to speak you um, through the sport course here at Lowestoft Sixth Form um, College, um, I'm Adam. I'm the sport and sports science teacher here, or one of the sports science teachers. Um, so as Katie and Richard just touched upon, is the qualification itself, you can take it as a single, double or a triple strand, okay? And just as to sort of replicate what Katie said, we always recommend people to take as much sport as they possibly can take, okay? Um, it just gives more flexibility with the units and so they're just focusing on the core units. Um, in terms of the units um, that we can take, you can see them on the bottom slide there. 
and there's a real mix of units from practical to theoretical. Okay. Um, and as Richard said, with the new BTEC course, it is different. That is examined units in there. Okay. So for example, where it says there anatomy at the top, um, that is one of the units that is examined. Okay. So this year, for example, uh, I'm teaching the year ones all the way through and their exam is then at the end of May covering all of anatomy. Okay. And that would be in the single block. Um, but as you can see, there's a complete range of different units um, that you will cover, whether that's theoretical or practical. So it plays to everybody's strengths overall. Um, as you can see there in the middle there, where it says there are some exciting opportunities, um, is we are privileged as a college, um, is we are working with Premier Sport Coaching. Okay, they um, are a company that go into schools mainly um, and sort of, give them physical activity, et cetera, et cetera. We are one of two colleges where we have a bespoke program with them. Okay, so they will come in and help our students become better sports coaches. So whether that's one they want to go into teaching, whether they want to go into um, working with young people, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they are also looking to recruit from this college um, as part of the program. So if people that do um, excel in this, um, there will be paid opportunities down the line, which is obviously very, very exciting for the students. Um, also with it, they have their own personalized kit, okay, as well, um, which they can buy, they can put their initials on it and it's their kit that they can wear for volunteering and for practical lessons. And before we move on to the progression, um, we do have a range of guest speakers that come in um, to college, whether that be from physios to chiropractors, et cetera. And we do pride ourselves on the university involvement that the course has, okay? Whether that's going to university or whether that's a university coming in or just doing some sessions, whether it's university-based in terms of your application or whether it's got giving you an insight into sport, sports science at university. And then finally, in terms of the progression, um, the vast majority of our students do go off to university to study some of the, um, the courses that are on the screen here. We also have people that go into apprenticeship and employment. And some of the employments they go into um, is, believe it or not, sports coaching, and um, whether that's personal training in gyms. And um, we've also had um, a few students go on to do things within business, okay? Because obviously sport is a very um, versatile subject. Um, so that is the, the course in a very, very quick nutshell of a few minutes. Um, if there is any more information that you need, please um, do email me, okay, on a.pickus at eastcoast.ac.uk. If there is anything other than this session that you think of, please do email. Um, Amy, I think that's all I have. Over to you for the um, Q&A. That's great. Lovely. Thank you very much. So that's uh, a brief overview for you of all of the courses that we're discussing in this um, session. So now we're going to open up to take some of your questions. So as I said, there's the question and answer box that you've got on your screen. Pop any questions that spring to mind in there and we will answer them for you live now. So we've already had a couple come in and we've had some pre-submitted um, before this evening as well. So we'll start working our way through um, what everybody would like to know. So um, Adam, first question for you. Could you please explain yes. the different BTEC levels in sport? I'm assuming that means in terms of the, the different single, double, triple. Yes. So um, just quick, I think I'll be able to answer this for most people there, is um, you need to take three blocks, okay, for a full-time college timetable. Um, so the single sport would be with one block where you'd have to partner that up with two other um, subjects, whatever those student may wish to choose. Um, and within that single block, you would look at things mainly to do with um, anatomy, which that's where your examined unit comes in. And also the development of yourself um, over time. So lo looking at where you want to go and what you need to do to get there is the nutshell units of the single block. Um, and that normally go on with the double block, you would then need to pick up one other subject from around college, whether that be performing arts, music, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then there's the more flexibility, the more blocks you take okay so there's then there's more theoretical units there's more practical units like sports coaching for example then if you then take the triple block which is where you'll get bored of seeing my face over and over and over um you then get the full freedom of the course where you can take um theoretical units and practical units and hopefully it'll all be intertwined nicely so you're not doing too much practical or too much theory i hope that answers the question 
Um, and all of those will obviously all get into university. Okay, so the one block is one A-level equivalent, two blocks is two A-level equivalent, and then the three blocks is three A-level equivalent. I hope that answers the question. That's great, thank you, Adam. While we've got you, we've had another sport one come in. Um, if you take BTEC sport, can you also do an A-level maths alongside it? Yes, you can. Um, it, definitely, it definitely helps with um, this, the, the short answer is yes, you can. It definitely helps with the um, maths within some of the um, content, especially within anatomy. So yes, you can definitely. We've got students currently in the year two course that are doing maths and we have some in the year one course also. Brilliant. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, another question that we had um, submitted prior to this evening, um, and I think this one applies to both um, music and performing arts. Um, do you have to audition to get onto the course, and what does the audition involve? Yeah, shall I take this? Yeah. Um, yes, we do auditions um, for music and performing arts, and uh, depending on what you want to do, if it's music, it will be to play a piece or sing a song. Um, of your own choice. Um, I think in performing arts, um, it's a monologue if you're an actor or a dance of your own choice, but you might want to correct me on that, Katie. Yeah, that's right. And I will usually give a, a choice of five monologues so you don't have to choose your own. I'll, um, I'll send them out with the audition materials. Great. So, yeah, so there are, are, are additions, but obviously uh, we support you through those as well and, and can help you with some material for that as well. So it's, it's not something you need to worry about. It's something that we can very much kind of help you with and guide you through as well. Um, a question here for um, Richard around digital media. Um, somebody has asked, do they need to have previous experience filming um, to be able to do this course or, or do you not need to have a background um, kind of in it? Is, it? is it just sort of having interest enough to be able to do it? Well, it's helpful if they've got some kind of background, um, but we do start at, at kind of the, the, the basic level, if you like, and we build up from there. So um, any pro knowledge is useful, but um, the short answer is it's not essential. Just it, what is essential, though, is that they're actually interested and kind of curious. And the more interested and the more curious they are in the world of the media, the better they'll do on the course. Great, thank you. Um, one for Katie. Um, we've had a question where somebody said, um, can I still study performing arts if I'm confident with acting but not dance? So yeah. if there's anyone that perhaps isn't, isn't an all-round or, or doesn't enjoy every area, is it still a course that they can do? Yeah, definitely. Um, usually that is the case. So somebody will be a really confident actor but hate dance or what really confident dancer but doesn't like to speak. And basically we work on confidence skills first and build build everybody up so basically so when you get to around christmas most people are confident in anything um and then usually when they start to sort of pick and choose what they want to do in the second year um they're surprising themselves and choosing the thing that they thought they didn't like um because they've worked really hard um so yeah that is usually the case and it's fine we teach the skills Great, thank you. Um, we, we've had a sort of a general question in. Um, someone would like to know when is the closing date to get applications in? Who can help with that one? I can take that. Um, there isn't one really, as soon as possible. Um, so, uh, because we're, we're interviewing now, we've interviewed a lot of students. Um, and courses do fill up, but there isn't actually a closing date. So you can still apply late if you want to. Um, just means you've got less less time between now and enrolment. Yeah, so I think we always say to students that if you if you know what you want to do now and, and you've, you've got your, your mm -hmm. sort of subjects chosen, then, then get your application in as soon as you can. Yeah. And then that gives us a lot more time to kind of work with you and work out um, exactly what subjects you want to do, what pairs well and get, get everything sorted. So you're all set up ready for September. So as soon as you can is great, but there isn't a, a sort of official cutoff date um, but yeah, as soon as you can get them in, it's as as possible. Yeah, yeah. It's best. Um, a question here for uh, Guy. Um, do you have to have um, certain GCSEs to get onto the music course as a drummer? No, not at all. Um, so it's not a prerequisite that you've done GCSE music. Um, in terms of... It, 
the GCSE music can be quite theory heavy and we do do theory on our course, but it's not something that you're going to come in and feel sort of out of your depth with. Um, so as a drummer, it's always great having drummers because you need drummers for bands. We can't have bands without drummers. Um, and generally your performances will be based around band sort of stuff. So just coming in, you'll do an audition as a drummer and show us what you've got. Um, it's not too scary and it's not like you have to audition with a perfect sort of John Bonham-esque um, drum solo or anything like that. Just to get an idea, the same with performing arts of one, your character and how much you want to do it and just where, where you are as a musician or an actor or a dancer. So yeah, your previous qualifications isn't relevant. It's about you as a musician now. Great, thank you. Um, another question we had previously sent in was for um, sport, Adam. Um, somebody would like to know how much of the course is practical and how much is theory? So what, what's the kind of split in terms of that? Um, off the top of my head, I'm unsure of the percentage. Um, but in terms of where the units are, even the anatomy block that is purely theoretical, technically as an exam based um, unit, is I'll embed practical within it. Um, so we try to do practical as much as we possibly can. So um, from February, we'll have a brand new sports hall over the road, which we'll obviously make use of. Um, but to give you sort of an idea in terms of this year, in terms of practical, is in the single block, um, they are doing the exam unit with me, and with Emma, the other teacher, they are doing practical sport. So if you take the single block in your first year, it's 50-50, essentially. Um, within your double block, within the two or three units that I teach this year, um, one and a half of them are practical, which is how it falls this year. Nearly maybe two, uh, maybe if you stretched it. And then within the um, triple block, again, it's out of the three units, you're probably looking about one and a half two of them are going to be practical. Um, so it's a fairly even split, I would say. Um, as close as we can to 50-50, but most likely probably 60-40 in terms of theoretical. Brilliant, thank you. Um, and one more question, I think possibly our final one, unless any more come in. Um, Richard, this is uh, for you. Could you explain the difference between uh, the digital media course and the film studies course that is also offered at the college? That's a brilliant question because what we're doing, we're recommending that students actually would take the, the double in digital media and the single uh, A-level in film studies because they complement each other. And to explain the, the difference, the film studies course is largely theory based uh, and it deals, as the name suggests, I suppose, exclusively with films. Whereas the digital media, we do touch on films, but we also touch on television, uh, radio, uh, newspapers and magazines to a lesser degree, but we still uh, consider them. And there are bits of it that are, uh, the uh, digital media course is a bit more practical. Um, you're more likely to be given a camera <laughs> in the first term um, than you are on the film studies course where you learn to analyze how films work and there are kind of certain specific set texts like you'd have in an English course that you have to study whereas with digital media there are areas we have to cover but within that it's down to our discretion and I like to give it to the students discretion as well as to what they look at exactly. That's brilliant. Thanks so much for that, Richard. Um, we have just had one more question come in. Um, this one is for you, Adam. Um, do you do the sports block over a one year or two year period? Um, so all courses that we aim to do are two years. Okay, so they come in looking to do a two year programme. Okay. Um, however, if the student finds that the two years isn't for them, they can gain a small, very small qualification out of the one year. Um, but we would definitely recommend that the students stay for the two years to get the full qualification. Great, thank you. Okay, I think that's the end of our questions. Um, so 
Thank you once again to everybody for joining us this evening. As you can see on the screen, there's our website information. So get your applications in to start with us in September 2021. Um, and also on the screen is an email address here to help at eastcoast.ac.uk. Um, if you've got any questions, anything springs to mind after this session that you think you'd like to find out, please send an email to that address and then we will send it on to the relevant tutor who is here this evening and then they'll get back to you um, with an answer. We're on social media as well so you can keep up to date with everything that we're doing as a college on there and also on our website you can find our virtual tours. So if you haven't yet been able to visit our college and have a look around you can go on our website, click the virtual tours and you can look through um, each floor, floor by floor, um, and have a look in some, some of our classrooms as well and some of the spaces where you'll study and learn and, and relax with friends too. So it's a really good chance to get a feel for our college um, if you haven't yet been able to visit us. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to open our doors to uh, welcome visitors in again in the new year so that you can come and have a look around. So thanks again for joining us. We hope that was really helpful and uh, we hope to meet you all soon. Thanks again, bye-bye. <laughs>